This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here, and in this video I'm going to be rounding up all of the photography equipment that I've used and loved in 2020 with a budget-friendly twist. Before we get into the video, I want to thank Squarespace for making this possible. A photo speaks a thousand words, but a polished and professional portfolio can get us those thousand dollar clients. Enter Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for websites and domains. Photographers, it's time to be done settling for slow loading websites with tedious plugins. I trust Squarespace's all-in-one platform to keep me booked and busy. Pick from one of their dozens of contemporary drag and drop layouts, host your custom domain and email with them, and even conduct successful email campaigns. Everything you need to run a successful photography business under their umbrella and at your fingertips. You can head to squarespace.com to begin your free trial and when you are ready to launch your beautiful professional website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Let's kick off the video with what camera I used in 2020 and that's the Canon 5D Mark IV. I've done an in-depth review on this camera if you're curious. I don't wanna get into all of my lenses but I have two here. The reason I wanted to get into it is because I've already have a lens collection video. I made it in 2019 and I haven't updated it since. I don't have any new lenses. So if you want to see my full lens collection, what I think is worth it, what I think is trash, I'll have it linked on the iCard here. But the lens that I used the most in 2020 was the 50 millimeter 1.2. I'll have this link down below and you can also get a more affordable option like a 50 millimeter 1.4 or a 50 millimeter 1.8. And I have a video comparing all three as well as lots of behind the scenes resources. So check out my YouTube channel search bar to get all of the tools and reviews on most of this gear. I love the 50 millimeter. I don't want to go into too much detail on why I love it because I've already done a complete lens review. I'll link it in the iCard here. My favorite lens for 2020 is the Sigma 24 millimeter 1.4 art. I actually don't recommend that you buy it. You can see why in my complete lens review. Like I said, I have reviews of almost everything that I have in front of me. Um, I don't think it's that versatile and I wouldn't recommend it to everybody. But for me, it's one of my favorites. I use it so often and you can check out that review for what I use it for and why I love it. But the 50 millimeter 1.2 is what I use the most in 2020 and the 24 is my favorite. To go along with lenses, I wanna talk about lens filters. These are all from the brand Polar Pro. They were kindly gifted to me, I believe in 2019 and they make amazing high quality lens filters for a variety of different purposes. Lens filters are not just for landscape photographers, portrait photographers can also implement these. And my favorite that they have is the ND filter, which is right here. An ND filter was described to me as putting sunglasses on your camera. It evens out the light. Emilio from Institute of Code, which is where I teach at Institute of Code, they teach photography to beginners and social media. They actually just launched their scholarship. So if you're curious about Institute of Code, I'll have them in the description. They are amazing. And I thought that was the best analogy. I'll link these down below as well as a $20 budget friendly option. Now let's move into, oh, actually, before we get into accessories, I want to talk about my $30 flash. This on-camera flash is incredible and comparable to my couple hundred dollar Nikon speed light flash that I would use for wedding receptions. If you just need a flash for wedding receptions where you're really only using the flash for a couple different shots, whether you do weddings or another event photography, but you primarily use natural light, you just need this for guest photos, dancing photos, things like that, you get it. This is an amazing budget-friendly option. It's incredible, I'll link it down below. It's no more than $30. This model sells out really fast. So I'll have this exact one I use linked down below as well as an alternative that's the same price point. Let's go into SD cards, accessories. I also have my camera backpack, tripod. I asked on Instagram what you wanted to see and you said everything. So let's get into my SD cards. The SD cards that I have always used are the SanDisk Extreme Pros. If you find that your camera 
Whenever you shoot, it is lagging, it's a bit slow. Chances are your SD card is not fast enough. I know it's not the most exciting thing to spend our money on, but it's important. So I have a lot of the 128 gigabytes, but I also buy the 64. I would recommend to have a couple of these and do not delete a session until you have it delivered. So with that being said, and I'll have these linked down below, I have a great price um, on an Amazon listing if you're curious. I have them in the soft shell low pro case where I also have some CF cards held. The reason I have CF cards is because my 5D Mark II, the camera I had before I upgraded to the Mark IV a couple of years ago, only had CF cards. Now the Mark IV has CF and SD dual card slot. So it comes in handy for things like weddings. So if you also need a CF recommendation, I recommend the SanDisk Extreme Pro as well. If you're gonna be getting one of the CF cards, then you're gonna need a CF card reader. This is the one I've used for years. And before this, Every couple of months, my CF card reader would break. There's little prongs in here, which are what your SD card inserts into, and that's how it reads it, and the prongs would always be bending and breaking. In this, even though, again, it's not a fun thing to spend your money on, I've never had to replace it. Next up, we have my external hard drives. I love the Lacie brand. If you want another option for hard drives, then I would recommend the WD Western Digital My Passport drives. I've used both. The reason why I switched to Lacie was because in New York City, I would be putting my hard drives in my bag, going from my apartment to my co-working space, and a lot of movements happening. I would kind of be freaked out that the WD were just a little bit more delicate, whereas the Lacie is more durable. I felt more comfortable with the transportation. Now that I have a home office, I'm no longer going to a co-working space. I think that Western Digital ones would be great too. Now, let's talk about my tripod. This tripod is amazing. I recommend this one. It is more expensive, but you could also go on KEH and find one used, which I'll have links down below, new and used, because it's a great, it's a great resource. The reason why I recommend them is because they're heavy. They're really durable. You don't have to worry about this blowing over in the wind. My camera backpack, this thing is comfortable and it's practical. It can hold so much gear without hurting your back. You can hold two camera bodies in the top. There's also a lot of room for about five lenses plus accessories. There's side pockets that have a ton of storage. Let me make sure you guys can see it. I don't believe it's waterproof, but it's water resistant. You can also fit a laptop in it. From the same brand, they also make these soft shell accessory pouches. They're the length of the backpack, so you can slide them in, fit perfectly, and it's just a lot more organized. Another one I have is this. I believe that these are just water resistant. This is what I keep my audio gear in. The last thing I wanna share with you is the camera I use for vlogs because I have been doing a lot of vlogs in 2020 and the Canon M50 is what I have been using. The M50 is great if you want to do vlogs. I wouldn't recommend it for photography, but I haven't used it with a lens adapter. So if you've used it with a lens adapter and then a Canon lens, let me know if the quality is any different, if you like it any more, any less. The tripod that I use for the vlog camera is this little guy. Bumblebee wanted to make a little appearance. Yes, his fresh haircut. So many of you are saying you want more Bumblebee on my social media, so here he is. Bumblebee is my wonderful rescue dog. If you're in the Seattle area, check out Ginger's Pet Rescue. If your goal is to grow your photography business in 2021 or just expand on your craft, be sure to hit subscribe so that you're the first to know when new free photography videos for your business come out. If you're looking for a kind, encouraging, and inclusive photography community, check out the Build and Bloom Facebook group. It's free to join and it'll be linked down below. You can also follow along on Instagram at Jessica Whitaker for daily tips, tools, and resources for your photography business. If you like what I teach here on YouTube, chances are you are going to love my online photography workshop. I teach you how to start and to scale a photography business in your own backyard on your schedule. I believe in you and I believe in your business and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.